Hello and welcome back to Pokemon Coliseum with me, Matthew Cabis, aka Poogie. So today we will um, venture further towards um, getting close to the um, Cypher admin of the Shadow Pokemon Lab, namely the scientist, chief scientist in fact, I, who um, of course um, famously said that apparently and many of his um, scientist underlings have apparently said that, um, well, all the Shadow Pokémon, barring those that have been, um, um, well, thrown out by the, um, well, thrown out, um, actually sent out by the um, Cypher Peons, um, have pretty much been shipped out. To where? We do not know, because, um, not of the scientists will say. I'm guessing it is because of that, I dare say this, sh underground railway known as the Shadow Liner. I still can't get over the fact it's called the Shadow Liner. Seriously. Shadow Liner? Are you insane, game? Are you insane? Um, let's have a look. Is there anything in here? Well, no, just that um, um, researcher we bought previously. And off to the right here, we have two lifts. So yeah, and um, can I go. Uh, so I'm going to take the left one first and see where that takes us. It takes us upwards, and that um, brings us back to here, where we will run into this scientist. Um, funny story. We got rid of most of the security. We also got this uh, secret key card. I guess Ein doesn't keep you in the loop. Okay, he has the same sort of electric Pokemon that the other scientist guys um, have. So yeah, so nothing much else has changed with this guy, I guess. Unless he has a Shadow Pokemon. Let's see if he does. No, he did not have any Shadow Pokemon. However, one of the Shadow Pokemon I did get is now evolving, namely Orm the Meditite, into Medicham. Yes, Medicham is, I guess, okay, not a favourite of mine, as I say. This was just me, as I say, trying to keep it, keep the, this Pokemon in my, I guess, trying it out on my team, but I didn't like it. And now what will happen is that this scientist Hutan will actually set off the alarm. And all it does is actually, basically, it doesn't do anything. Um, it doesn't send in more security like you'd think. It just sets off a loud alarm noise. That's all it does. Yeah, no, he is lying. You can't actually escape the lab. That's just an empty threat from a stupid scientist. Anyway, we have another um, uh, Cypher Peon here, Remiu. And, uh, Remiu. Okay, take the R away and you may as well be there. Uh, well, I'm not even going to say. So, um, she does have a Shadow Pokemon. Most of the Cypher Peons do have Shadow Pokemon, so I will leave this battle in. So, um, first off, a Kecleon and a Vibrava. And the Vibrava is the, um, where I say the Shadow Pokemon. So, with that said, um, yeah, I am going to probably go for Vibrava, even though it's um, not a good thing. And I may take advantage of the color change ability with Kecleon here. Apparently it knows strength. Something that I could have been uh, easily got with, um, where I say... Uh, Think now, um, um, with the uh, Gramble in the last episode, but it is not to be. So instead, I want to use. Well, I don't have the uh, thing on my team, so I'm gonna have to go. I don't want to go with Learning Ace. No, I do not. Good shot is not gonna work. So Slam, although it has a high chance of missing, I know that. So yeah, I hope Fly doesn't kill my bra. Uh, it's not that effective, although having said that, it just got hit with it. And it used Shadow Rush! It used Shadow Rush! Oh no! I should not have used that at all. Yeah. It's just 
became kamikaze. Yes, it did. Although, having said that, um, at this point in the game, I don't want to go through the trouble of leveling up by Brava just to get potentially get a Salamence. Maybe if it were early in the game, I would cons wait. No, no, that's my thinking. No, um, I got it wrong. Uh, never mind. Anyway, her other Pokémon is a Swellow. Yeah, I really should have been more on the ball with Vibrava. Although I didn't really want it on my team. Never mind the fact that I would have to um, go through the whole trouble of, the, of purifying it and all those and spending all my Pokémon dollars on that. Never mind that. Um, but yeah, I really should have. There. Another thing of note, Swellow knows fly. So yeah, um and all pad. I have a um, flying type myself. Um Archimedes here. It meant I was able to avoid it getting hit by it at least. So yeah. If only I had a Pokemon that used that had an ice room to make up for the fact that I don't have Cleo on my team currently. Oh, I will do later, don't worry. But for now, I don't have Cleo on my team. Uh, that will change, let's say. So, Never mind, take down! Very nice. Yeah, I'm sorry you'll have to suffer the uh, recoil damage. At least you're not being kamikaze like that by Brava. Again, part of it was my Yeah, who's next then? Kadabra. Okay. This might have been a good time to use Umbreon if I'd kept it on the team. And if there was the advantage of actually getting um, dark type moves with TMs, but again, it was not to be. So, Archimedes, you return because you're on low health. Cast me your up! I'm gonna use Shadow Ball. Why? I'm gonna fly. And that will do some nice to Casper. Side That could be super effective. Although, having said that, um, it won't be about Mischievous. Uh, Mischievous is not a ghost poison type. The main reason in the Kanto games that um, uh, it was so effective against the ghastly haunter uh, Gengar um, evolutions is because, of course, they were also due poison type. That is not the case um, in thing when we have a lot more uh, in Ori, should I say, when we have a lot more um, of the Chuoto and Huin Pokemon, um, as well as the um, Kanto Pokemon. So at least that's so Shadow Ball. So yeah, it just does normal damage to Sai, which is good because I didn't really want to get the KO back. So yeah, that light lava went down to the thing, but there we go. Side beam and um, slam. Yeah, maybe, but um, no, no. Down he goes, and yeah, poor Casper. Yeah, it does not deserve that. Well, we found something that's a bit good against this Grievous. So, Burninator, why not? No, I don't know any ice side moves, but who gives a damn? I'm going for it, man. So, Flame Wheel and Surf. Of course, he used Fly. Of course, he would well uh, use Fly. <sighs> so, can we, can we hope that he is faster than both my other. Thank you! I am glad that, in this case, that Swellow is faster than both Burninator and Wilbur Shield. Very good. So, Flame Wheel! There we go. Very good indeed. It was like. It was like. It was he choking to death there, Swellow? That's what it looked like! And that's another thing. The Hoenn Pokemon do not have great death seekers. Unlike the uh, Druto and Kanto Pokemon, who, I, as I mentioned before, get their animations from the stadium games. 
so yeah. Um, well, that's what you get when you mess with the next member of Team Snagum. Maybe he is. And yeah, along with the um, annoying siren going off here, uh, you can actually see I'm in the room next door. Um, the music is completely gone. Seriously. Um, but, um, we have to do something with that door. And uh, poor Casper. Poor, poor Casper. He has really taken it hard, hasn't he? Um, I don't want to use my max potion. I want to use a hyper potion here. There we go. So, yeah, I'll still have to revive, um... Um... There's a... Um, my street is Casper, so yeah. So, um, with that said, um, let's actually find out why we can't go through the door. And it has actually has got something to do with those research samples. Basically, if you go to a certain room in the lab, you will um, see the images of them. Then what you have to do is actually enter the um, um, Pokemon that their samples are of. Or something like that. I'm not sure. So, um, let's see. Who Pokemon did I capture? Um, so, yeah. So, apparently, the Pokemon thing were of uh, Pseudo Rudo, Mighty Yenna, or Mighty Yenna, Bear Leaf, and um, in my run. And it wasn't Suicune. Or you could just do. Um, um, them at random, so Mighty Enna and Beerleaf, those were right. So what about Mistremus? Well, yes. Well, I never caught Mighty Enna. Apparently we've come on to our, come back to our old friend Scrub. Yeah, we don't want no scrubs. Anyway, that being said, we, we're getting this scrub. So he has a Warbuffet and a Graveler. I have a soft spot for Warbuffet. Yeah, seriously. Even though the, it's moves it as a counter and and a mirror court, I still like Wobbuffet. Even if it is the running gang Pokemon on the Team Rocket's team. Yeah, I do have a soft spot for Wobbuffet. Unfortunately, um, that Gravel is going to be a pain in the ass for um, um, Archimedes, so I guess I will have to bring in another Pokemon. Or so I think, but Wobbuffet has Shadow Tag, meaning I can't do anything about it. So, I'm going to have to use Fly on Wobbuffet and um, do something about um, um, Graveler. At least um, Surf will do some damage to that Graveler because it's the rock and ground type. So, let's see. Yep! Instant Keo, baby! Instant Keo! So, yeah. And um, now, well, I've got the experience here. Yeah. there. Seriously. Um, yeah. Maybe you shouldn't use it on Blubber Shield there, Wobbuffet. Okay then, so... <sighs> Wobbuffet and Clampo. He still hasn't sent out his Shadow Pokemon. Well, no, no, no. Shadow Tag is going to be trouble. And is that the evil form of that Why Naughty he had? I think it is, actually, now that I think about it. Yes, Clampel still uses Iron Defense, which is annoying to deal with. Oh boy, counter will hit now. And, why is it hit here? It takes back double the damage for a Pokemon who hit there, so yeah. Um, I can't use a Mud Shot against Clampo, but the same. Um, is that a lower speed? It doesn't lower defense, though. Uh, which is probably what I really want to happen. Be fair, but mm, it's happening. So yeah, I will actually bring out uh, a Pokemon that I, another Pokemon that I considered putting on my team as well in this battle. As um, yeah, remember that uh, Ski Bloom that I caught? Well, off screen I did actually purify it, and indeed you will see it in this battle. I <laughs> give it a name. Um, oh, I regret doing so. So yeah, I'm going to use Slam on Warbuffet, but as I say, yeah, that that would be a Pokemon I will use. 
Yeah, I suppose the only way to switch it out is by using either by uh, KOing it or um, all the other thing. Well, Blizzard, KO it is then! Blizzard is what you will suffer, and down goes Archimedes. So let's bring in our next Pokemon, which uh, will indeed. Oh dear! Maybe there's a chance to use that for full heal after all. Um, I don't want to use Burning Ace, so I know. Um, Flappy. Even though it is dual. Um, and I uh, say, um, Flying and Grass type. Yeah, I'm. Oh god. Oh! Boop! <laughs> it's. Uh, it goes down just in, in that little... I don't know if it's the fetal pose or whatever, but... Yeah, and also Burninator. Yeah, I'm going to use Burninator. Better or worse. And I'm going to use Mega Drain on Clampurl. And uh, Flame Wheel on Wobbuffet. So yeah, hopefully that'll do some damage. I can't think of anything else really, so... Mega Drain, very good. Although it will still use Blizzard, I think. Yeah, um, flame wheel, very nice. So no more shadow tag, thank goodness. So now, what is the Pokemon that will come out next? Well, we shall see in a moment. Yes, so, it is Medicham. Seriously, Medicham. Well, let's use another Mega Drain on Clampurl. Goodness, it didn't use... Um, Blizzard on the um, yeah, and Fire Blast on the um, Medicham. So, yeah, there we go. Speed, actually, you know, it will um, level up for Jump Wolf there. Yeah, it, it actually leveled up, did a skip loom into Jump Wolf. So, yeah, so let's see. Fire Blast! Yes, it worked! So, yeah, that will do some damage and. Guessing he doesn't have a Shadow Pokemon. So yeah, and High Jump Kick did quite a bit of damage there. Right, so... Now I don't want to use Cost and Spot. I'm guessing Scrub is out, out of Shadow Pokemon. I suppose if I wasn't able to get his um, hit on top earlier, then I, it would be his Pokemon here, but never mind. I will keep him in, because we have faced him before, of course. Uh, yeah, and level up for Burning Eater, very nice! And another one for for my Jump Wolf, even though I'm not going to keep it on my my team, but... Uh, bloody hell, and, and makes the noise I make in the early morning. Never mind that. Um, let's see. And he just runs away. Yeah, no more to be heard of the scrub. Well, if we go down here, this is actually where we... Will. I don't know if we run into to Ein here, but yeah. Uh, we will actually face him on the next episode. So until then, I will see you later. Goodbye!